Hello. When solving math problems, there are four simple steps that you should take before you get very far into any math problem. The first step is to read the problem and then to read it again. A lot of times these problems are confusing and the first time through you may get a mistaken impression of the question being asked. The second thing that you should do is simplify that question so that it is only three or four or five words instead of the whole paragraph that we usually see in a word problem associated with math. The next thing we should do is identify the formula that we will need to get to the answer. And then finally, we need to look into the problem to find the variables that we have to plug into that formula to solve it. Let's look at a simple example. In this case, we have a 60 minute time period in which a tank's volume increases by 4200 gallons. What is the flow rate of the water filling the tank? We'll make sure you read it again just to make sure that you know what the question is asking and then simplify the question. And here we're looking to find a flow rate. We want to find the flow rate. The formula that will give us this answer is the flow rate formula, that a flow rate is a volume divided by a time. And now the fourth step comes into play. We have to find the volume, and it's here, 4200 gallons is the volume change in this time period. And the time period itself is 60 minutes. So now that we've concluded our first four steps, it's time to try to solve the problem. So let's put the numbers in that we just found. The flow rate is volume divided by time, and the volume is 4,200 gallons, the time 60 minutes. We'll see that our answer will be expressed in gallons per minute, the units in our calculation. And then it's calculator time. 4,200 divided by 60 is 70 gallons per minute. So that's a, a quick example to show you the four preliminary steps of reading the problem twice, simplifying the question, identifying the formula, and then gathering in the information or the variables to plug into the formula to solve a math problem. We have several more flow rate types of problems in most course WM4, and you can find it at www.mostwatertraining.com.